Now we're going to learn how to parse JSON. So we're going to use again our JSON from here, from our generated JSON, and we're going to pretty much first get each block, so each array, so each um, each array. So this would be one array. And then each one would be a JSON object. Okay. So we're first going to do get JSON from string. We're going to create a method in here to take advantage of the background thread from on response because if we, we parse JSON on the main thread, it will slow down our UI really laggy. So we're going to create a JSON array. JSON array. New JSON array. Now the JSON array, you know, again is pretty much. Okay, create that try and catch. Again, just this right here. All of these. That's one JSON array. So we want to loop into the JSON array in case we have more than one. Plus plus, and we're gonna make a JSON object. JSON object is oops is only one of these. So one of these one of these blocks. Equals JSON array dot get JSON object I. I'm gonna create another method called get. I mean, uh, get. Uh, display JSON information. JSON object just to make it a little cleaner. Okay, now I'm going to get the string of the name. We're going to see if that works first. So I'm going to start it up see if the name pops up. Whoops. Can't do it exactly like that. So we're just gonna put this on here. Main activities dot this dot main put on UI thread. So we can't do it on the on the background thread. We ha any UI change, we have to do it on the UI thread. There we go. Okay, now it showed the name. Actually, it's showing more than one name. That's good. Now we get we're gonna get more of them. Uh, gender. So that get this JSON object that gets string name. We're getting each field, so the name. Now we're getting the gender. Get get string not get gender gender. Now we want the age. I believe that was an int. Now, what else do we want? Eye color. String eye color.
They got a capital in there? I don't know. Um, yep, it did. Okay. Now, we want... We're just going to take this JSON text view. JSON text. Let's make it into a field, to a global variable. I'm going to do name plus name. Plus new line and then gender. Plus H H plus oops I color what happened here? There we go. Now let's start it. And there you go. We have only that. Why that? Oh, that's because we were only using one uh, one text view. Hmm. Okay. Now. What we can actually do is. great way to do is a string builder. We can use a string builder. String builder. What we want to do is we want to builder that append There we go. Now, when this is done, we want to do another round main thread. Start uh, round main thread. Actually, we don't need to run our main thread. We can just do it on here. Actually, you have to do it that way. We can't take, we can't, um, I was thinking we can't take the builder and pend it and then in the main thread, like down here where we didn't even touch the on response, just forget about running this. Just put in the main thread, uh, um, uh, setting the string builder to the JSON text view. The problem with that is the thread is ongoing. The thread could take one second. It could take five minutes. Doing it like this, putting on the main thread here, it won't get the results from here because this is going to do it instantly. It's running on a different thread. So we have to do it within this thread. <coughs> in the In this thread, running on the UI thread, within it. So, um, we're getting the JSON text view, and now we're doing that set text. JSON. No. Builder. Dot. To string. That should work. Yep. So we forgot to do
that's it. We have all our information here. Thanks for watching.